Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this experience. Uh, we are going to illustrate here how uh, Dassault system can address some of the challenges in the area of manufacturing operation management. So my name is Thomas Bouffet, and together with Martin Serafin here, we are going to go through uh, a scenario where we will address some specific topics. First, we are going to speak about how we enable manufacturers to produce and, and, and demonstrate how it's so important to have the digital continuity between, uh, from sorry, engineering till manufacturing. Then we will see how we can uh, improve the operator, operator efficiency thanks to strong integration with shop floor equipment. Then we will also uh, speak about how we address uh, real events on the shop floor, like uh, uh, unexpected issues. Then uh, we will see how um, we can synchronize activities between departments and especially in the area of logistics, and this part will be presented by Marcin. And we will end up with a quick, uh, quick uh, overview of our capability to monitor the performance. All right. So first, uh, first thing I will, uh, I will, I would like to, to introduce is about how we enable manufacturers to produce. And before producing, you have to define what you want to produce. So you know that's a system, you know uh, their products and how they, are, they can uh, use their application to design the product. But we also have uh, application to design or define the how to make the product. And here specifically, we have defined uh, the, what we call the process plan with the list of operations we will have to execute and that we will execute on the line here on the different stations. For each operation, we have also defined work instructions that will be executed. Those work instructions are 3D work instructions. And here, this is important to mention because this 3D work instruction is very intuitive for the operator, very explicit. He can easily understand what he has to do. The second value of this 3D work instruction is that it can be easily updated. As we have all the information in a single platform, there is a native integration between design, product design and manufacturing engineering side. So when there is a change on the product side, they can immediately communicate and share this information with engineering and apply the change on the, on the shop floor. So that when you introduce a new product, it's extremely fast, okay? So you understand now how we, we can define the, 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 the information. Now this information is published to the shop floor and we are going to see how the 3D work instruction is used by the operators. So we are going to move and, and go on our, on our production line. Here we see at this station, the operator that can visualize the, the work instructions. This work instruction is dynamically uh, and automatically displayed at the right time and right station. So that when the operator has to produce different products, the system automatically updates the work instructions. It can at any time also interact with the product with the 4D work instructions. And in case there is a problem, an issue, it can select the, the component that, is, that has a, a defect and report manually the defect. The information will automatically be tracked in the system. I'm going to do it here, okay? In a few clicks, I'm going to say the kind of issue we are facing with. I could add a comment. Okay. And submit this information. Visually, it's clear, it's very intuitive. We see what component has a defect. This information will automatically be shared with the quality department. Another thing that is important is the interaction also with other departments like maintenance. Let's imagine that we have a problem with the press here. Okay? So we are going again to inform the maintenance department about the defect that we are facing with. So here we are again going to say, to, to document the kind of problem we are facing with, The press is done or is stopped, all right? And then we see automatically that visually we have the handle light that is switched to red, and the information is immediately sent to the maintenance department. 
So thanks to the strong integration we have between our application and all the, the line, we can facilitate the communication between the different departments and improve the efficiency. Another important thing that we see here is a lot of small equipment that we have on the line. The system on the foot to validate the steps, uh, pick to light system to, to drive the operator on where to find the component to be picked and the quantity to be picked. Uh, the tablets that can be of different type as we are working on any kind of, of devices and smart tools like the core tool that we have here, okay, where we are able to really drive the tool and provide the right value for the torque to be applied. So this, this integration really gives the operator the ability to focus on added value tasks. It doesn't have to, to, to interact with the application. Everything will be done automatically. All the information is going to be tracked automatically. Uh, for instance, the genealogy of the component. And that's for me the opportunity to maybe then involve uh, Marcin in the following presentation to speak about how we synchronize also the production activities with logistics. So, please, Marcin. So, in this experience, I play a role of a logistic uh, manager. So, here we take a full control over the stock level of the raw materials, uh, semi finished goods, and finished goods. And my job is to make sure that we have enough materials available at the stations to keep the line operational all the, all the time. So you can see that I'm holding in my hand a mobile device which is helping me to find out what is the current state. So to make it easier for you, I will switch to a big screen and show you what I am most interested of. So this is a screen which is very visual and represents the storage area that we have behind. On that screen, we have the list of all the components available and their quantity. So for me, it is very easy to realize what is the current state. Then I can do the same to monitor my assembly stations. For each of those, I see if I have enough components. If something is wrong and I'm running out of stock, it immediately turns red, which means that system generated a replenishment request. So having control over a stock in the storage area and in the assembly stations, we are able to automatically dispatch tasks for the assembly operator who is taking parts from this to there. And you can see my colleague over there, he's actually doing this job. So let's see how he is doing. So this is the list of all the replenishment orders we need to take care of at the moment. So again, I see the list of all the stations and requests for each of those. So in example of station one, I see we are missing three materials. Again, in a very visual way, way, we are helping the operator to find out where he will find those components in the storage area. So thanks to this, we are sure that we have good materials at the correct stations at the correct time. Back to you, Thomas. Thank you. So let's, let's take a look back at, uh, at what we are, we are presenting here. So we have addressed this part about the digital continuity from engineering to manufacturing the integration with IoT devices on, on the line to improve the operator efficiency. We spoke about how we can address uh, unexpected issues and, and how to involve other departments to, uh, to solve them, and how we synchronize also the, the, the logistics, the material flow with logistic department. So the last point is about performance now, performance monitoring. So you understood that we are collecting all the information automatically from the production line, and this information can be used for different purposes. Either just to inform the team about the performance of their current station, and here we have an example of the kind of monitoring screen we could uh, propose for, for an assembly line, where we see in real time the progress of each order at each station, where we can monitor also the current performance or compare the actual cycle time versus the expected time. We can also access to some more historical information and see uh, some other KPIs that we are calculated uh, periodically. So we, we can access to all the information, not only production and quality information, but about uh, warehouse information, quality, maintenance. Everything is, is captured and collected in the same database and contextualized so that later on, when you perform some analytics, it's much, much more efficient to, to get the right information. This information is also used 
for predictive analysis. As we collect the data for a long period of time, when you combine this historical data with real-time data, you can predict the behavior of your current equipment. One other thing that we have mentioned that with, with this team dashboard, we can also monitor all the actions and issues that have been raised. So remember, we have just created an issue about the press we had. And here we will be able also to follow up and make sure that this issue is correctly fixed and that we will put in place some preventive actions so that it will not occur again. Um, that's it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you very much.